and just who the hell are you and how do you know my name? My name is Falcon Asta Jr. But you may call me Moon Death. I am your great grandfather. And it is time that you come home with me. Like I told my father and his father before him. I'm not going anywhere with you people. It's amusing that you think you have a choice. If you don't come with me now, I will kill everyone here. Right, everybody, listen up. We're going to divide up and conquer. We're going to go to Mars first and deal with that situation. And then I'm going to have the other team head over to find out about John and Shane. Something's wrong because I can't sense John. Either he's unconscious or I just too far out of reach. Don't worry, I have a good feeling about this. I think they're going to be fine. Well, I hope you're right about that because I got a bad feeling. Well, I guess we wanted to see some action. It's going to happen today. Take a look down there. Hey, yo, what could have caused all that? All right. Brunt and Javier, you're with me. Jessica and Amanda and Marco, you go after John and Shane. Well, what the hell happened here? And where are our guys? I see them. They look like they've been clobbered. Man, are we glad to see you guys. Captain, it looks like we got another dragon on our hands and he took Charlie. Well, that's no good. Sounds like he's heading over to Voltar's castle. That's where we'll end up. That's where we're going. This place really looks like Dr. Frankenstein, huh? Which way should we go? I'm sensing John downstairs. Jane, are you alright? What happened? Well, I found this machine and it looks like Octo got the drop on us. Well, I'm glad to see you're awake, gentlemen. Now we can begin the experiment. I will enjoy changing you into what I like to call special freaks. Alright, everybody wait for my signal, then we're going to move in. What is that crazy contraption he's got there? One of his inventions is machines to create freaks out of normal people. Hey Marco, cover me. I'm going in. Right, Octo, step away from the machine. You're under arrest. Oh my dear, it would appear that you have got me. But can you stop the machine? Tell us how to turn it off, Octo. I could tell you, my dear, but where would be the fun in that? Amanda, we need to figure out how to get them out of there. I think this time we're going to need Jesse on this one. John Shane, just try to relax. We're going to get you out of there. All right, Jesse, if you talk me through this, I think I can do it. Yes, we're all right. Where's Octo? No, unfortunately, Octo got away. Okay, guys, I think I got it. Are you sure you're okay? Yes, I'm all right. What the hell? I should have known. You were behind this the whole time. Actually, son, you have your great-grandfather to thank for that. Good, I look forward to arresting both of you. Come with me to the meeting room, son. He wants to talk to you more. Well, Munch, what news do you have for me? Well, my liege, Octo has returned here. Apparently, the Alliance has stopped him. Go fetch him and bring him in here. Obviously, I blame you for this, Sister Dear. Lee, Sister Dear, it's just a little setback. I do apologize, ladies, for the inconvenience, but we will get them back. Let's get one thing straight here, Octo. I don't tolerate failure for very long. If you do it again, you'll be dead. I fully understand, my liege. I won't fail you again. Tell me the truth, father. Why are you really here? I am here, son, to get this family back in order before your great-grandfather is released. Plus, I know where your brother is, in the zone. How could you possibly know where he is? I couldn't find him. As you well know, son, a father and son bond is very strong. I can feel him. Let me guess, did we miss any fun father and son bickering? Not at all, Rick. I do miss your sister. Hello, Charlie. We do need to talk for a moment, if you gentlemen will excuse us. Of course, Father. Me and Rick have some new developments to discuss. Look, I don't know what it is you think we have to talk about, but I'm going to arrest all three of you when this is over. Huh, <laughs> spoken like a true Aster. I should have known. Just like your father. Let's get something straight. I'm nothing like him. <laughs> You're exactly like him. 
I have so much darkness to teach you. All right, Father, what's so important that we need to discuss? Apparently my father has found Bolren. This could be a problem. You can struggle all you want, Asta. You are not going anywhere. Your punishment is to stay here in the caverns forever. That's what your brother wanted. <laughs> my brother and all of you will pay for putting me in here. Soon as my father gets me out, you're all gonna die. <laughs> Alright, I'm glad everybody's back safe and sound, but we still gotta find Charlie. So we need to head on over to that castle and see what's going on. Alright, gentlemen. Split up and let's find him. Great, we get to explore the creepy castle again. I thought you hid him so well that no one could find him. I did hide him well. I didn't count on my father showing back up in this galaxy. Now his fatherly senses are all of blutter. Head to the zone and see if I can get Monzi to hide him somewhere. Is it just me or do all these hallways look alike? Oh, they all look alike. I think they just trying to confuse us. Just let me know when one of you has eyes on Charlie. There's nothing that you could teach me that I would want to know. You have so much potential. Well, Captain, I got eyes on him. All right, Ralph, don't make any moves until we get there. All right, whoever you are, Charlie's one of us, and he's coming back with us. Ah, oh, the Galactic Alliance, where Charlie is one of us, and you are trespassing. Is this guy for real? So which Aster are you? You pathetic humans can call me Moon Death. Well now I heard everything. Jesse beam us all out. What's going on, Father? Where's Charlie? It appears I underestimated these Galactic Alliance officers. They took him. Charlie, oh my god, I'm so glad you're okay. Don't worry, I'm fine. I, si I guess I should get used to this. I don't ever want to get used to that. If my grandfather is back, this cannot be good. I agree. He looks determined to get his family back together. And that's not good for any of us. Great is if we don't have enough problems. We really need to be careful. My great-grandfather is no one to be trifled with. Well, I got Jesse looking through that book that Cora and Cara tried to give the Voltar. There might be something in there that we could use to trap him. Well, what is it now, Munch? What are you disturbing me for? Well, my liege, Rick Astor is at the gates and he demands to see you. Well, this should be interesting. Show him in. Monzi, we need to talk. Well, Rick Astor, what do I owe this unexpected pleasure? I'm here on behalf of my father. I need to make sure a prisoner of yours does not escape and can also not be detected. Well, hello, lover. What brings you here? Mantra, you're still alive. And I'm not here to talk to you. I'm here to talk to your sister, who's actually in charge. Rick, always such the gentleman. No, I'm actually on my tenth life right now. And your son is absolutely adorable. My son is off limits. If you go after him again, I will end you. Always a pleasure to talk to you, Rick. Keep your sister away from my son, Monzi. Please, Rick, your threats don't work here. Now, which prisoner are we talking about? Are you too sure you want to be here? I mean, last time we were here, y'all almost got married. Yeah, well, that's not happening again. Now, we're going to find this Bolren Aster, and we're going to get him out of here. Let's make it quick, because I ain't dressed for no wedding. What are you doing here? No visitors allowed. Who in their right mind would ever want to visit here? We're here to find a prisoner. We need to talk to Monzi and Mantra. No visitors. Don't you know who we are? Jedi. I'm Shane Astor. Look, just let us in. All right, if you insist. Should have got my rabies and tetanus shots. Monzi, Mantra, we need to talk. Oh, you came to us? Look, Mantra, we're only here for information. We're trying to find a prisoner of yours. You gentlemen can have anything you want. Okay, I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. We're looking for a prisoner of yours. He goes by the name of Bolren Aster. 
Believe me, gentlemen, if we had an aster here, we would know about it. You wouldn't be lying to us, would you? Well, I would never lie to you, Shannon. Good, then you won't mind if we search your caverns. Of course not. We can go with you if you want. No thanks, we're good. What will we do, Sister Dear, if they find him? My pets hid him very well. They won't find him. All right, everybody be careful. We don't know what we're walking into. Sure, we know what we're walking into. But yeah, keep mom. stating the obvious, Ralph. Now, I know y'all heard that. It's time to hurry up and get out of here. But, guys, I think we found our prisoner. Yeah, and along with a few more of those monsters that can sense asters. Great. Relax, man. We got this. Who are you people? Do I know you? Relax, dude. We're here to save you. You are Volren Aster, right? We're your family. We're here to take you home to Voltara. Oh, you've come to take me home. Oh, I'm so glad. The mistress is going to be so angry with us. Paul, is he going to be alright? Yeah, he's going to be fine. He is an Aster after all. But those bruises and marks on him, they're not going to go away. I don't know what kind of weapons those mutants have, but... They last permanently. I guess we should contact my father and the others to let them know that he's okay. Are we sure we want to do that? I mean, we don't even know if we can trust this guy, let alone letting them in here. You guys do what you need to do. I'm going to take care of my patient. I'll go have Jesse make contact with Voltar's castle. I'm going to make sure Steven's nowhere near this place in case Voltar and his clan show up. I don't know about you, but I could use a drink right now. That sounds like a good idea. Jessica, are you getting any kind of vibe from him? Anything at all? Just a lot of fear and anxiety. Well, Swig, did you find out what I asked for? Oh yeah, sure did, boss lady. He was looking around for a ship so that he can get to Voltia. Why anybody would want to go there, that's where all the Alliance hang out. But that's where he's headed. Good job, Twig. Now you keep an eye on him and you let me know when he's ready to leave. And do not tell Cora about this. Or I will kill you. Good thing, boss. My lips are sealed. Oh, my head. Where am I? You're on the planet Voltia, in the Alliance base. Your name is Volvernaster, correct? You are a doctor. So how long was I in that zone, anyway? And I sensed family. Where are they? Yes, you were in that zone for about 20 years. So you do have a lot of family. We also did contact your father and your brother. I do look so forward to seeing my family again. Well, hello, John. It's been a long time. Hello, Grandfather. I hope you're not here to cause havoc again. My dear boy, I'm here to celebrate. I have my son, and I understand you're going to be a father as well. Make no mistake, Grandfather. We're not children anymore. You won't find us so easy to control. I can definitely sense that. I also sense all of the tragedy you've been through. I am sorry for that. We'll talk more later. Don, I am so glad that you're alive. Yes, it's a miracle you survived that long in the zone. I'll just give you two a minute alone with him. Well, son, are you ready to come home? Actually, no, father. I rather like it here. I've got new family to explore. Father, may we and my brother have a moment alone? It's fine, I will plan on getting you out of here. Alright, brother, what's your game? What are you planning? Whatever do you mean, brother? I just found out about my new family. I want to get to know them. And maybe kill them. You pathetic excuse for an aster. You think you can harm anyone in this condition? Away for 20 years? Revenge is not only a good thing. It can make you powerful. Now I have friends in dark places. I will take my time and enjoy making you suffer through your family. That zone has driven you insane, brother. I am what you made me, brother. And now you will feel my pain. You will know what I went through. I will have my power back. I will rule this family. You will be nothing. What's going on here, boys? Your son has gone insane. He's threatened my family. I did no such thing, father. He threatened me. He's the one that locked me in that zone in the first place. Don't let me go home with him. Is everything okay over here, gentlemen? 
Father, what are you doing? He looks terrified. I've done nothing. He's the one who's insane. He's faking all of this. He's here for revenge on me. I don't know why you always insist about making this about yourself, son. Can't you see your brother is suffering? Yeah, well, I think visiting hours are over today. Father, you should leave. I should leave? This is insane. Don't you worry, brother. She's got plans for him. Father, you should go. I will put you back where you belong. Are you alright, son? Getting stronger every day, father. And we will let you rest, son. Everything is going according to plan, my queen. <laughs>